story, a story, cried the children, pulling a little fat man towards the tree. Now we shall be in the green shade, said the man, as he seated himself under it. And the tree will have the pleasure of hearing also. But I shall only relate one story. What shall it be? Eva the Eva or Humpty Dumpty, who fell down the stairs, but soon got up again and at last married a princess. Eva the Eva the, cried some. Humpty Dumpty, cried others. And there was a fine shouting and crying out. But the fir tree remained quite still and thought to himself, Shall I have anything to do with all this? But he had already amused them as much as they wished. Then the old man told them the story of Humpty Dumpty, how he fell down the stairs and was raised up again and married a princess. And the children clapped their hands and cried, Tell another, tell another! For they wanted to hear the story of Eva the Eva the. But they only had Humpty Dumpty. After this, the fir tree became quite silent and thoughtful. Never had the birds in the forest told such tales as Humpty Dumpty, who fell down the stairs and yet married a princess. Oh, yes, it so happens in the world, thought the fir tree. He believed it all, because it was related by such a nice man. Oh, well, he thought, who knows? Perhaps I may fall down too and marry a princess. And he looked forward joyfully to the next evening, expecting to be again decked out with lights and playthings, gold and fruit. Tomorrow I will not tremble thought he. I will enjoy all my splendor, and I shall hear the story of Humpty Dumpty again, and perhaps Eva the Eva the. And the tree remained quiet and thoughtful all night. In the morning, the servants and the housemaid came in. Now, thought the fir tree, all my splendor is going to begin again. But they dragged him out of the room and up the stairs to the garret, and threw him on the floor in the dark corner, where no daylight shone. And there they left him.